Today, we're gonna go through my top five sales on eBay. When I got home, I opened it up and I was like, oh baby, they went for 65 pounds and they sold within a few days. Couldn't believe it. Next up, this is a two fur, two in one. And I got them, I took them home and I looked them up and I couldn't believe it. Right at the bottom of a cuddly toy bin, rummaged down to get them. I think they were 50p each. Another day, another dollar earned on eBay. And we got two big bags of booty, baby. Same time, next time. MG Retro here yet again and today we're gonna go through my top five sales on eBay. Now these aren't just gonna be in terms of price although there are some big hitters in there. This is how interesting the item is or the story behind it and how special it is to me. The backdrop for today is Cork Abbey and I love this place. I've just parked down the road and we're going for a big walk. It's late morning here and I got some sandwiches with me as well. So join me for the walk. It's gonna be a really chilled time. We're gonna go through my top five ever sales. So without further ado, here is number five. I'm gonna pick Thunderbirds. This is two listings here. The story is I went into the Oxfam near me and there's never anything good in there normally. It's either overpriced or not that interesting. But on the top shelf towards the back, I saw Thunderbirds and I saw the logo there, but it was the newer one, the remake, the ITV one. So I thought, uh, okay, I lifted it out and it was the box for this five in one vehicle. So you have little different bits and you attach it in different ways and it can make five different vehicles, this thing. I walked out of the shop, I didn't get it. It was £3.50 and I thought, mm, it's the new Thunderbirds, I don't know. But then something, something in the back of my mind said, Let's get it, £3.50, can't argue with that. So I went back in, I bought it. When I got home, I opened it up and I was like, oh baby! And inside, there were five more figures. And one of these figures is the rare one, the S, black sort of rocket plane thing. So it had Thunderbirds 1, 2, 3 and 4, and then number 5, the S one. And that one is worth a bit of money on its own. I looked that one up and that was going for 30 pounds just on its own. This one had the whole set. Clicked them all, they were all working. The S clicked it, no sound. And I thought, oh, devastated. All I did, I just changed the battery. Who'd have thought? It was one of those little disc sort of batteries. I had one luckily in the drawer. So I basically just popped that in there and it worked. I was like, thank God. It also has a little vehicle that attaches inside of it and that's what makes it valuable having both of them bits because it's such a tiny piece that it can get easily lost that so inside this box of thunderbird stuff we had them five extra vehicles plus the five in one we already wanted to buy anyway there are there were two tiny pieces missing from the five in one but that didn't really matter because you could make four of the five vehicles anyway so it was fine that still sold but then five vehicles, they went for 65 pounds and they sold within a few days. Couldn't believe it. Then the five in one vehicle sold for 18 pound plus postage. That went within a few days as well for three pound 50. I thought I was just getting one item. I got six items in the end, 83 pounds. Really happy with that. Get in the water. Next up, number four. This is the Bill Badger books. I've mentioned these a few times before on the channel. I got these in 10 for a pound. That's 10p each, obviously. And I just saw them on the shelf and I thought, they look, they look old. And obviously you don't know if that means it's worth anything. There was just something about them. And I got them, I took them home and I looked them up and I couldn't believe it. 
there were like antique websites had copies of it for 85 pounds on eBay there were copies for loads of money and I thought this is crazy so initially I listed them for about 85 pounds they had a few watches all that sort of stuff but in the early days I just wanted to get some stuff sold to be honest so I lowered the price lowered it again and I thought you know what I'm gonna treat someone here and these both sold for 25 pound and 26 pounds plus postage so I made over 50 quid on those and they cost 20p could have listed them for 85 pound for one and about 70 pound for the other these were worth they were in great condition some of the best condition I've seen on the internet of these editions of these books I just wanted to get rid of them they could have still been here and eventually still sell for that price maybe at some point but I'm happy with getting them out 50 pound profit, not getting them in here, maybe damaging them a bit, maybe scuffing them a bit more and having to deal with that headache. 20p, 50 quid, I'll get rid of them for that, I love it. <laughs> Next up, this is a twofer, two in one, both snowman items. The first one, and Mrs. MG Retro spotted this one, the snowman board game from the 80s. And what was so cool about this, it had four little snowman figures with different colored hats on. My listing on eBay isn't there anymore, so I haven't got the pictures of the listing, but that went on auction for 50 pounds. So happy with that from £3.50. We bought it for ourselves initially, and then we thought, mm, this is in really good condition. All the bits were there, and that's why you have to look up what prices things are going for. I was looking up other ones they were selling for a tenner, 15 quid. This one had all the bits, had all the snowmen in really good condition, all the pieces, all the little cards for the game were in mint condition. It, all it was missing was just one of the card cardboard inserts to sort of keep it together. But apart from that, the game was great. So I priced it high. I started the bids at £30, I think. So if you wanted it, you had to pay £30 minimum. And it went for 50 in the end. This was before Christmas, early December, I think it was. So it's perfect timing. And it went for £50 in the end. Alongside that, we found a little trinket box, a snowman hand painted, limited run of this. It had a number on the bottom, really tiny, but it was so beautiful the way it was painted. It was such a nice little trinket box, Royal Dalton. That went on auction as well. That went for 50 quid as well. That was eight pounds, but we bought that. We, we saw that for eight pound in a charity shop. We had to buy it, it was so good. So that's number three, two snowmen items, really liked them. Next up, this is really one of my favourite ones. At number two, this is Prickles, Russ Berry. So Russ Berry make cuddly toys. They're really good quality. You see them in a lot of charity shops, actually. I saw one the other day. It was only a teddy bear, though. So if it's just a generic teddy bear, it's not going to go for much money. But some of the different animals, like if you get a giraffe or a panda or all of them sorts of things that a kid would want, they're definitely worth picking up if you're getting them for a quid or something. So these ones were little hedgehogs and they had little uh, Christmas themed hats on. And I saw them in London in a charity shop right at the bottom of a cuddly toy bin. Rummaged down to get them. I think they were 50p each. So I got four of them and there were, I think there were four more as well. These sold for 15.99 for two and then 15.99 plus postage for the other one. But that's not why this is at number two. This is at number two because I received a message from the person that bought them. Of after they bought the first lot and it was delivered, they messaged me and bought the next two straight away as soon as it was delivered. They told me the daughter's father had passed away when they were young and he used to use these little prickles hedgehogs to tell the bedtime story and she said she'd been looking for the exact type of hedgehog for ages and she'd finally found it. Every Christmas she's going to buy her one of these prickles hedgehogs to give to her daughter as a little memory of her dad when she was younger. It was so sweet and I couldn't believe it when I got the message. And my intention was to go back to get the other prickles and to send them. But I've just been nowhere near that part of London. And there's no guarantee they'll still be there. So I will have a look next time I'm in that area because I really want to get them. 
So if anyone out there has any of these prickles, send them my way and I'll get them delivered to that person. They're really special to them and you can't really find them that much. At number one, can't believe this one. Really sad to let this one go. This was Rosie and Jim. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old red dog. One of my favorite things growing up, I had a Rosie and Jim duvet set for all of my childhood pretty much. Loved this show so much. John on the boat. Hello, I'm John. I love the episode where they go to Sainsbury's. My goodness, what a huge shop. Jim puts a little chocolate monkey on the broccoli as a tree. <laughs> a broccoli tree. Monkey, monkey, broccoli, <laughs> broccoli. Oh, it's so sweet. I really love that programme. Got MG Retro Junior into it when he was a bit younger as well. Really love it. At my parents' house, we've got a pair of them, the big ones. They go for a lot of money, but we'll never sell them. These two I saw in a charity shop near me and I literally saw them and went, Rosie and Jim, and I grabbed them. I didn't care how much they cost. They were £12 for the pair in the end. It didn't matter. If they were £50, I would have bought them. I loved Rosie and Jim, and you don't come across these very often. Jim had his waistcoat. They had their little bags. They were complete. They are in perfect condition, and I looked them up, and they were up there for £90. I listed them for £90. No offers accepted on this. No way. I didn't want to get rid of them really. They were on the shelf, I loved them. In the end, I knew they would sell, but on Christmas day, at our house with my family, we're all around, we're in the living room in the morning, and it just came up notification, eBay, Rosie and Jim sold for 90 pound plus postage. Someone had bought them on Christmas morning, treated themselves to a really nice quality pair of Rosie and Jim rag dolls, absolutely amazing the thought that someone on christmas day thought i just want these i'm gonna buy them as a treat for their partner maybe it's for them maybe they've got a canal boat or something and they want it for on their sofa in there i don't know but there's something so special about them meaning so much to me and someone bought it on christmas day so at least i know it's special for someone else and it's going to someone who's really going to appreciate it and they paid a decent price for it. It wasn't about the money. I bought them for £12. They sold for £90 on Christmas Day. So that was my number one. And that was the top five. Thanks for sticking with the video, guys. A little bit of a different video, but I thought I'd just go through some of my favourite sales, have a little bit of a chat with you guys. If you haven't already, by the way, please subscribe. We're flying through subscribers. We've gone well past the 500 subscribers mark since the other day. Thanks for everyone for joining. Like, comment, love all that stuff as well. And from me, it's going to be one big whopping scene time next time. The end.